Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, this one is Francine. Um, I'm trying to improve the light a little bit so I hope I hope that's okay. The last video was a bit weird. Um, I'm doing this in the afternoon which is unusual for me. Uh, this is the TN-ish size, a bit larger. It's four and a half by eight and a half. 68 pages as usual. Um, Francine is tied with some variegated sari silk which is quite pretty. Uh, this is a double cardboard um, cover so it's a little bit stiffer than the ones I do with the canvas. I just like to vary them up a little bit. Quite full, not too many danglies. Show you this one that way. So it's a sewn signature with 68 sides and then this canvas um, to reinforce it. So inside we have, let's just take that letter out. We have a pocket, um, chapter one digitals again in this one. It's very pretty chapter one. Uh, this is a book page image just turned into a tag. A book page on the back. Uh, you can see this is card on the inside, um, beige card or tan card. This is, this chapter, this is chapter one, I think it's antique florals. This one is French drawing room um, and I haven't covered that up. But on this side, I have got um, a little Polaroid here. It's quite delicate at the top, so you will need to be careful when you're popping this little card in and out. It's just um, single paper. So that's that. And then if you turn it over, I pinned a photograph on here. Looks like the 1940s and it says the Holy Terrors. Oh yeah, 1949, Trenton Park. So those two little boys, I don't know whether they stayed Holy Terrors or not. <laughs> Who knows? This one is glued right down, although I did curve this. And in there I have got a um, book page. That's the whole story in one in there. And um, a 1919 document. So those are just tucked into that pocket. This is an old envelope. I wanted to use this envelope, but it was really, really in poor condition and um, quite grubby. No stamp or anything like that, but it's... Um, addressed to Mr Talbot in um, somewhere near Chepstow and it has war loan written on it here so I didn't want to lose that so I glued it to some tea dyed paper um, to just form a page in this journal sorry let's just turn that back so sorry see all the layers there it sort of adds to it I think then we've got a pocket on this side a bit more of that story the black pug's birthday Um, this is a vintage image from a book and this is a Beatrix Potter um, book. I've just made a journal card out of that. This page is collaged, um, sort of matches this. So you can see again all the layers, little hearts in this one. Uh, masking paper here. This is some more of that chapter one paper and I've cut it a little bit shorter. And in here... There's a um, page from an old French book and a narrow fairy tag. This is from a 1920s um, map reading instruction book. Um, so that's that side. Uh, it flips out here and I've just pinned this image around it. Um, it's a sort of journal card. I haven't stitched it, um, but I have backed it so you can write on it. So that looks pretty, look pretty. It's Edith Holden page. This is some tea dyed paper that I made. Um, a fairy pocket with a botanical tag 
and this is from the 1940s, photograph from the 1940s. This is from um, a Janet Marsh book, a children's um, book she's illustrated. I've got some 1921 ledger paper. This is piano roll paper, which has been doubled up to make it nice to write on. And this is book page. So I've left that um, as it is. I shall show you in a bit more detail how I've dealt with the bottom half of this. I think I think I'm in the right. <laughs> I think I'm in the right book for that. But it's it's cute anyway. Um, and I fussy cut on a computer card in there. This is a birthday card, and again, I've just made it into a little pocket. And in the pocket, another journal card. Some stenciling, I've tried to use a different stencil. I don't like it quite as much, but I do quite like it. It's a bit of fussy cutting, another shorter page. Um, a little three-way dangle with some, this is some vintage cotton. And I've just made, um, I suppose, a notebook to go in there. Some invoices from the 70s. Blank well, letterheads, really. Just slide up in there, no problem. In this pocket, which is 1956 um, exercise book, little fairy image on it and then there's a document from 1932 some kind of tax return I think that might be and a library card it's our centre image and another heart on that one here we've got a book page The Employment of Women in Public Health Work. Riveting reading. This is some handmade paper that I've um, decoupaged. And just a simple tag with a vintage cigarette card. Or two actually on that one. There's one on either side. I've got an envelope here. Quite a pretty envelope. And I've put my usual... Um, cabinet card in there that's a nice one with a couple and three looks like two girls and a little boy it says Boston but I think it's Boston in Lincolnshire in the UK not America um, botanical page in this one another little collage pocket and in there we've got um, an encyclopedia, botanical encyclopedia page, another encyclopedia, vintage encyclopedia page. And then I've popped in a couple of photographs from the 40s in there, 1940s. On this page, I've got um, some tea dyeing. It's quite turned out a bit dark so I've covered that up with a birthday card um, vintage birthday card I have cut it down to fit over the page so it's just about the images really on there and the colours in this pocket I've made a journal card with a vintage photograph that looks a bit older than the 40s and this is some old crochet this is the other side of that um, 1913 magazine page and the bit that came off it, I tucked it in that way around, I think. I can't actually remember now. But basically, you can read which way around it is, but you can read the whole thing. Um, where is it on here? So this will there if you see what I mean so you can read that side and the opposite side if you'd like to if not it's just some nice collage paper 
put together. Here I've just done a little dangle with a sample Polaroid just to echo the Polaroid that's in the front of the book. We've got um, Flower Fairy Fair. This is a pocket with another of those ledger pages in. Um, document from 1907. A little bit fat I think that's why um, I just pinned these together just to make sure everything didn't fall out it's fine a bit more of that lovely image this has got um, an embroidery page in half page another heart here little heart This is a magazine page, some advertisements, and another of those um, tags within a tag. More masking paper, more decoupage on the back of that. This is our little dog. Um, this is a fold out, and there's an old document in here. I don't know if there's a date on this one. It's just a scrap, really. There's a date on it. It's quite thin. Um, some atlas and a little photograph in there. So it just folds out like so. And then I've got a fabric pocket on the back with just a French book page in there and another little dangle. So that's Francine. She bulges out quite a lot when she's open but ties relatively flat with the ribbon around it um, she will be going into the Etsy shop with the others so I will see you all again soon thank you for watching